Hi, this is a little bit of review of reading sentences for December 3rd. So um, if you'll remember when we were together last time, we started reading some actual sentences and Rory and Let's see, Rory, you were with us. Janie, I think you were gone. So this is your chance to review that with us. So we're going to look at a couple of words, read them. I'm going to put them on my magnetic board back here. Then we're going to arrange them into some sentences and read them as sentences. So let's hand out the first one. D all, doll, doll, doll. Do you remember why it has a capital D? Because this is someone's name. We're actually going to have a character in our letter book. And her name is Doll. So she is going right there. D -a -g. D -a -g. Dog, dog, dog. This is a capital D, and you see I've highlighted it a little bit. We're going to need this because this is going to be a start of a sentence, and we know that all sentences start with a capital letter. So dog is capitalized because we're going to use it at the beginning of one of our sentences. D-A-D, D-A-D, dad, dad, dad. Same here. We're going to be using that as the beginning of a sentence, so we have it capitalized. So there are our three options for the beginning of our sentence. Now we're just going to read some words. A-D, odd, odd. Two Ds, but only one tap. Odd, odd. We're just going to float that right there. Here's another one. G o ad. G o ad. G l ad. Glad, glad, glad. The word glad. We're going to put it right there. Next one. S ad. S ad. Sad, sad, sad. S ad. Sad, sad, sad. Let it hang out up there. One more. I, oh, I, oh, watch me tap it. I, oh, only two sounds. Ill, 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 ill. And remember, this means to feel sick, right? You don't feel your best when you're ill. All right, sight word. And remember, when I show you this sight word, you're just supposed to say it very quickly. Is. We can decode it. We can say, is, is. But I want you to memorize this word, is. So we're going to be using... Our words on our board, sight word is, and then another word to complete a sentence. But we need something at the end of a sentence. Do you remember what that is? I'll give you the hand signal. That means a period. That is how we close and stop our sentence. And remember I told you it keeps us from falling off the page. I say don't let your sentences fall off the page. You have to end them with a period. So make sure you at least put a period. All right. So we're going to come up to our board, and I'm going to move these down here, and we're going to form a couple sentences and just practice reading some sentences. All right. Hmm. So I can randomly choose these. We're always going to have is in the middle, so it's not going anywhere. And I think I'll put this word there, and then I need something to end it, so I need to put my period right at the end. I have completed a sentence, so let's read it. D-A-D. Dad. Sight word is. G -l -ad. Glad. So go back. Dad is glad. There's our period. Dad is glad. All right, I think I'm going to change that word. Let's read it now. Change the meaning of it, right? Dad. Did that word change? No. So we've already read and sounded out that word. So start to look for words that you've already sounded out when you're reading. You don't have to sound them out again if you know what it is. Dad. We know that's dad. We've already read it. Dad. No, the sight word is. All right, here's our new word. Sad. Sad. Let's go read it back with fluency and speed. Dad is sad. All right, let's change it one more time. These two words have not changed. So I know it's dad is Odd. Odd. Dad is odd. All right. Now, let's change the subject of our sentence. And let's, let's change it to dog. I didn't change the end of my sentence now, so maybe I'll recognize that ending word. D-O-G. Dog is 
odd. Dog is odd. Uh oh. Didn't change this. Dog is ill. Ill. Dog is ill. Dog is odd. Now I'm going to change doll, dog to another word. And I'm going to change the ending this time too and come back. Doll is glad. Glad. Doll is glad. Read it with me. Doll is glad. All right. So let's change that. Uh-oh. Doll is sad. Sad. You know enough letters now that you can actually create your own sentence. Remember, every sentence starts with a capital letter. We have to start with a capital letter, uppercase letter, end with a period. Do you remember our hand signals? This one's for a period. This one's for exclamation point. And this one's for question mark, right? So I could say that sentence three different ways. I can say, doll is sad. Or I could say, doll is sad. Or I could say, doll is sad? Just by changing the ending punctuation. But we're using a period right now, so we're making a statement. So we're just say the sentence flat with a lot of expression. All right, so now that we've used words to make sentences, we're going to come back and look at a sentence that is written without word cards. It's on one line. You'll notice it's word space, word space, word period. When I get to the end, the pattern changes to a period. I have to stop my sentence so it doesn't fall off the page. All right, so let's read this one. Da-ad. Dad is, it's that word is, we're not sounding it out. Dad is ill. Ill. Dad is ill. Dad is ill. Okay. All right. Here's our next one. Subject changed. D all. Doll is ill. Doll is ill. So I want you to practice reading some of these words. You can make some of your own word cards based on the letters that we know and make your own sentences using our sight word is. So see if you can do that at home. Thanks for practicing some sentences with me.